गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन ऑन द काउंट ऑफ थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट सर आई एम सींग इट एज एन एंटी फार्मर बजट बिकॉज कंपेयर्ड टू लास्ट सो मेनी ईयर्स द बजट फॉर एग्रीकल्चर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हैज बीन कट बाय फोर्टीन परसेंट बजट फॉर नेशनल फूड सिक्योरिटी मिशन हैज बीन लोअर्ड बाय रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर्स देयर इज अ कट इन एग्रीकल्चर बाय फोर्टीन परसेंट एंड देयर फोर इट इज टोटली एन एंटी फॉर्मर बजट फॉर एजुकेशन द बजट हैज बीन श्लैस्ड शॉकिंगली बाय सिक्सटीन परसेंट एंड द बजट फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन हैज बीन कट बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट विच वुड अफेक्ट द मिड डे मील स्कीम द बजट फॉर सर्व शिक्षा अभियान हैज बीन कट बाय ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट विच इज रियली शेमफुल बट मोस्ट सरप्राइजिंगली इवन द बजट फॉर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स लाइक इंटीग्रेटेड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट स्कीम विच गिवस हेल्दी फूड टू चिल्ड्रन हैज बीन कट डाउन फ्रॉम रुपीज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड क्रोर्स टू रुपीज एट थाउजेंड क्रोर्स to keep the poor children hungry and therefore ensure that they do not go to school do not study and do not develop even the budget for national rural livelihood mission which is to give jobs in rural areas has been cut from rupees 2000 crores to rupees 1000 crores all this shows that it is a pro poor and anti kisan budget where in fact instead of increasing the kisha, kisan's budget their budget has been cut for everything there is one answer from the honorable finance minister who is not here but the other day the prime minister has also said devolution to states for every question they give one answer from 32% to 42% we have made to the states and devolution is there we have given it to the states therefore we are cutting the schemes now in regard to this i have to say that for justifying every cut the government says that they have accepted the recommendations of the finance commission which has suggested devolution from 32 per to 42 percent to states accordingly there is devolution by increasing states share by 10 percent but we have to see as to what the actual devolution is in fact the government has given with one hand and taken away by other hand this becomes clear because the increase in devolution is claimed to be more than 1.2 lakh crores sir on the other hand for the centrally sponsored schemes grants and loans which have been cut is to the ton of rupees 1.34 crores thus in fact the devolution actually is from 61% to 62% which is absolutely nothing with one hand you have given and by the other hand you have taken it back this is just be fooling the public and everyone when you say that you have taken away the schemes of the central government the anti poor budget shows that this government is clearly against the poor persons the government is justifying the cut on integrated child development scheme by saying that because they have now introduced a new scheme of sharing with the states there will be a category fully funded by the center the second category would be where there be will be a sharing between the states and the center and the third category would be where the center will not pay a single rupee for the schemes which will be fully borne by the states so they have now made out three categories the backward region growth fund which clearly helped the backward areas in the country has been totally abolished no mention has been found about the 100 smart cities i am surprised that these cities have vanished from this budget where they have gone we don't know the 100 smart cities were vehemently proposed 
in the first budget of this government now 23 schemes will be funded by the center 30 schemes will be shared between the states and the center and there are schemes which are totally delinked as regards national e-governance plan no fund has been allocated for modernization of police not a single paisa is to be given by the center for the national e-governance plan i would like to speak a few words on the road map and policies of the center Apparently, the fiscal roadmap is to reduce public spending on welfare schemes by directing not to spend any more money on welfare of poor people and instead reduce the same drastically. As regards FDI, the focus is on bringing investment through FDI in public sector companies like railways, road, defense, etc., which is going to drastically affect employment of scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, other backward classes and minorities as there will be no reservation there. By giving tax shops to the corporate sector, the financial elite, it will create wealth and income inequality.